my journey continues to find uh, a decent, not too expensive uh, step down transformer from 220 volt to 110 hundred. Um, I did a few videos. I purchased one of these uh, so called 200 watt uh, adapters. Um, the, the short story is it was uh, overheating crazy temperatures, 80 to 90 degrees. This is just something I did uh, just to. Uh, I drilled holes in it for ventilation and uh, using this. It has brought the temperature down a bit, but quite honestly, I wouldn't use this for more than a couple of hours. All I want is to be able to um, plug in this 110 volt uh, lithium ion phosphate charger to charge the battery. But uh, unfortunately, they don't live up to uh, expectations. Fierce disappointment. They're a danger. So that's led me to look again at something decent. So I've gone for Krieger, is it? Um, now they have uh, 150 watt, which was what I was going to go for first. It'll suit my requirements. Um, but then I said for the difference in price between the 150 and 350 was about 7 euros. And I said, will I be sorry? Maybe sometime in the future I might want a little bit more juice. I plumbed for the 350. But it is, it is slightly bigger and slightly heavier, but not excessively so. The only downside to this now is um, this is more like a benchtop uh, transformer than a portable. But it says it has fairly good uh, testing standards. And that you can use the stated wattage, whereas the this fella here... They want you to use half of it, which is farcical. So that's all. Um, not much info on uh, YouTube about it or Google, I can't, other than people trying to flog them. Amazon reviews, okay, take a deep breath, but uh, it seems to be reasonably satisfactory. So we'll unbox and have a look at what you get. This is for anybody who's interested in one of these. Um, I'll just go through uh, what I find. It uh, comes well packaged, protected. That's this. Register, what? stop. Register your product today and receive an additional six months warranty. Okay. What's in this box? Kits, probably cables. Inside uh, you get uh, two spare fuses. And I'm glad to see it's uh, it's got a, a five amp fuse. Not like some of these, not like this one here where it comes with a 13 amp. And then you get, which I take it to be a European style plug. You are supplied with a, a 2 amp and a 4 amp spare fuse. And that would be to, uh, to suit here. 4 amp, 120 volt, 2 amp, 230. So you'd have to make sure you put in the, the right fuse if you're replacing it. So this is the unit itself. Um, they give you a manual, as I say, I've gone for the 350, but they do have a range of them. Um, there's the specifications, it's uh, about 2 kg, 4.3 pounds, and there's the uh, dimensions there. Quick look around on the front, uh, is the, uh, two tw there's a 230 volt European plug. 120 volt US indoor use only, only on off switch and a neon light and here you've got vent grills and on the back we have the fuses and the socket inlet and I like this that uh, it's recessed you'd have to use a screwdriver or something to uh, turn it it's set for 230 volts which is me make sure of input switch set to you yeah okay ventilation grids and on the bottom um four feet yeah and this is, this is the bolt for the what's they call that um, coil turtle or something is it it's different than the the sort of um than the traditional block sort of uh core that you get with the we'll call them the rectangular uh, transformers it's supposed to be far more efficient and can tolerate a lot more Temperature, all well, that's in the eating and drinking. So that's it. Um, I just wanted for 
to use with this charge you know this charge will be what 80 85 watts so this is going to be way oversized for it now it'll all be to see how good it is under test uh, one small item i noticed not a big issue but it is not uh, sitting level on the uh, the four feet there must be a bit of a distortion somewhere yeah we'll see plugged in now and uh, the first thing I want to do is to check the uh, voltage and she's reading 124 volts we'll um, we'll try it out now see how she gets on so um, the charger is connected now to the connected to the battery drawing uh, 4.6 amps the battery is quite full but still We'll see how this performs over several hours and check the temperatures. Um, it's been running away now for two hours and the uh, just coming down now because the battery is uh, nearly full but there will be no issues. I'll take a temperature reading just to see. Now the room temperature is about 13 degrees. Uh, there's nothing. She doesn't feel uh, she doesn't feel like she's heating. There's no there's no high temperatures anywhere that I can see. Yeah, and the charger. That's all normal. Now um, the most I would be pulling off this. Uh, unit would be 80 85 watts which would only be about 25% um, of its rating I haven't got any uh, 115 volt uh, piece of equipment to uh, put it up to the full test of 350 watts but as I said uh, under these conditions there's no uh, there's no issues the 150 watt would have done me but as I said before the difference in uh, price between uh, this 350 and the 150 was uh, only 7 euros so it made sense to get this unit. That could be because there's more people buying the 150 watt or else the 500 watt. There doesn't seem to be a big demand for the 350. That could be why the price of it is uh, reduced a bit. Okay, I know you want to have a look at the guts of it. heat protective sheeting on it that's good I see all the connections are soldered but they seem to be fairly well done she has erting from the base and going to both uh, it, oh, sockets inlet and outlet so that seems okay That's the inside of it anyway, and this is the the big transformer. And much more to uh, show. So that's it. So that's our. Uh, as I say, I can't put a full load on it, but um, I see no issues with it. Bye for now.